What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? I need a one in the chat. If y'all can hear me, put a one in the chat. Now I'm multitasking, y'all, because I, I, gee, what's going on, girl? Thank you for being in the building. Hey, sis. Okay, you driving home from work, girl? I'm trying to multitask too, girl. We we both on the same page. You hear me? We both on the same page, baby. Because I'm trying to do the same. So today, y'all. I know I've been saying for the longest that we're going to decode Ronnie's um, live that he did, right? I know I've been saying that for the longest that that's what we're going to do. So that's what we actually are going to do today. I tried to move the office in the kitchen because I'm cooking fish, right? And I've been saying that I was going to fry these fish for a couple of days now, all right? So I'm definitely doing it. I'm tired of saying I was going to do it and I'll never do it. So now I'm doing it, all right? But by the time I got done with this fish, I would have been too tired to go live after the fact. So that's why I'm doing it now, y'all. I'm trying to knock it all out now so that when I am done, I can kick back and relax and get ready for my day tomorrow. Because tomorrow is going to be a, um, a long day as well. I'm starting to... Uh, eat differently tomorrow with my sister so it's gonna be a little bit different tomorrow as well hold on one second y'all okay i just wanted to make sure i just wanted to make sure that i'm on task now how was y'all evening going i had to make sure y'all can hear me how was y'all evening going all right boom now I, I turned it down. What's going on, Gia? What's going on? You good? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is what we're gonna do today, y'all. Y'all know the normal things that we do. We are definitely gonna talk to Jaden and Carlissa. We are definitely going to talk to uh Ronnie, his mama, and Big Rock, Krishan Rock mama. Another thing, I want y'all to find out, for anybody who can hear this under the sound of my voice, even in the replay gang, shout out to the replay gang, by the way. Put hashtag replay gang in the comments. Don't forget to drop a one in the comments every 30 to 60 seconds. You good? Because I'm live. Okay, so if you can, you can, you don't even have to do it in here no more. Because she ain't here. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm frying fish for y'all. Your favorite. You know your favorite fish? I'm about to fry your favorite. Child, my... Y'all know who I'm talking to, child. Y'all, I'm talking to my baby, RJ. You love it. You don't love it. I'm about to quit right now. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, I promise y'all the whole live ain't going to be like this. But y'all know me and my son cuts the food every now and then. We do the dozens every now and then. But, um, y'all, so this is how the live going to go today because I can't be live long. So while I'm doing this, I'm about to fry this tilapia, right? And while I fry this tilapia, we're going to um listen. We're going to watch a couple videos. We're going to watch that video with Ronnie. Like I promised y'all, I don't know who put a paper plate right there, but that is irritating. We're going to watch that video with Ronnie like I promised y'all that we was going to watch. And then, um, right before that, we're going to watch the video with the girl seven, okay? Thank you, sis. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know how you know I need it, but I do. So I really appreciate that, sis. I really do. I really do. Gia said, hey, RJ. He said, hey. Um... He doing his homework amazing. He's such an amazing child. Him and his brother Cash. Shout out to Cash. We love you, Cash. Um, but yeah, y'all. So I'm about to season this fish while I'm talking. Because I want to be able to enjoy the rest of my night once I'm done. So, like I said, we're gonna watch the Ronnie video first. And um, no, no, we're gonna watch the video with seven first. Remember that seven minute video that we watched yesterday? We gonna watch it again right before we watch the video with Ronnie. Why? Because that's gonna help us decode, 
the video with Ronnie that we're about to decode. We're going to listen to the entire video with Ronnie. Up until now, we've listened to bits and pieces, but it's so many haters. Oh, thank you. Gonna get you. Thank you. I, I'm glad that you love my channels. Thank you so much. And I'm glad that you're here with us. Oh, everybody multitasking tonight. <laughs> Soraya says she's doing homework too, RJ. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up, y'all. That's what's up. Not Soraya. See, he think you're talking about my niece, Soraya. It's not Soraya. It's Soraya. But I think about Soraya every time um, I hear her name too, though. Oh, y'all, the pepper going to have me sneezing. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> y'all yeah. know how y'all be cooking and then the pepper get in your nose, bro. And it make you want to sneeze. <laughs> But no, um, I'm about to fight to love you real quick. But the video that we're about to watch right now is going to help us to decode the video with Ronnie. So let's go ahead and get into our um, announcements real quick to the families. All right. There is no amount of football. And I need y'all to um, put ones every 30 to 60 seconds in the chat. Also, so that I know that y'all can hear me and everything. <laughs> right. I see Junior and all of them. Right. Me too, sis. Me too. You're one of the few who has concerns for Krishan's baby. You bring awareness more than a thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, you Stryer. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and get to our um, housekeeping stuff real quick. And then we're going to go right into the video, y'all. We're going to watch two videos for sure. Now, I'm going to see how I feel after we uh, decode the Ronnie video because that might take us a minute. Because there's so much that I want to show y'all. So I'm like, I got to go live today or else I'm going to be behind for what I want to show y'all tomorrow. So let me see the ones in the chat just so I know y'all can hear me, everything going well, the video playing well, etc. Right now, two people who don't believe this is for you. All right. If you don't believe that he's the father, that Ronnie is the father, I understand. I understand because they sold it so well. Crazy in love to uh uh the whole thing with Blueface and Krishan Rock. Heck, she had blue face believing he was the dad. So I'm not surprised that you think that he's the dad. And it don't mean you're a bad person because you don't believe otherwise. But I'm going to open up your mind, Craig. We're going to open up your mind, Craig. All right? We're going to open up your mind. Now, you see this picture? You might be saying to yourself, why is she showing this? Well, it's because the baby's in the middle and it's two people on the other side who are these two people one of these people is ronnie and the other person is blue face and in this picture you can already see ronnie looks more like junior than blue face this picture is ronnie and blue face at around the same age and junior of course a baby three to six months at this point really uh, about four to seven months in this picture all right, and we can already clearly see that Ronnie looks who has on the plaid looks more like Junior than Blue, who has on orange. Oh, you don't believe me? This is what blue face kids, this is how this is how his genes work. Okay, that is his son Javon, and that is blue face himself in that picture back in the 90s. Blue face on one side. In the orange, and his son Javon on the other side in the blue. I know these pictures because I have done that with my children. I've put side by sides with their dads. It's so beautiful and amazing how God has our genetics set up to make our children perfect. The girls have certain features, and the guys have certain features of the father. And I think it's amazing. Hold on one second, child. Hold on.
All right, so um, just like I was saying, you 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 would be able to tell the difference um, when you look at how they genes go to their children. You'll be able to tell, even with his daughter. But I might put that up later. I might not. However, this is another picture of Ronnie. All right, that is Ronnie, y'all. That is Ronnie. That is Ronnie. Y'all see it? That is Ronnie. Why is that important? Because this is another picture. The thing that really, really gets me, and welcome if you're just coming in. I'm multitasking, y'all. So my apologies if I can't catch every comment. That's why I need my moderators on deck. Moderators, do what you feel you need to do. Just make sure that you screenshot. You tap the icon and you screenshot all the comments that they have put on this page. You will see. You are a moderator. All you got to do is tap their name, screenshot their email address, and all the comments that they put so that we know who they are the next time they come in with a different profile. All right. Now, we're going to go on to the next picture. Hold up for a second. There we go. This is Ronnie's son, y'all. And even Christian Rock knows it. Speaking of Christian Rock, Big Rock, Big Rock, Big Rock, Big Rock in the building. What's up, Big Rock? Shout out to you, Big Rock. And y'all, while I got her up here, do y'all know after I got off of the live last night, I was thinking to myself, what if that uh, what if that person who I think their name was Princess Black? I was like, dang, do Christian got a brother that's a doctor and a brother that's a lawyer? Because I know she got a brother that's D1. I'm like, Princess Black. If I didn't know. Any better, I wouldn't have been surprised if it was Krishan Mama. I was, when I was like, like looking back, because I didn't know how much she was being disrespectful yesterday in the chat. I didn't realize how just how disrespectful she was being, because y'all know I be trying to go on with the live and get to what we're going to get to. But I'm like, wait a minute. So I need y'all to let me know if Krishan got any siblings that's a doctor or a lawyer, because that would be such a coincidence. But because when I thought about it, I was like, I would give her that. That name. Look at her with her beautiful stuff with her beautiful rap. I would call her Princess Black. Hell, she looked like she could be a Princess Black. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> yes, Princess was tripping. Princess was tripping, y'all. She really was. But yeah, um, Big Rock, I need you to go ahead and talk to your family, okay? These are your in-laws. Not by marriage, but by blood. All right? We all know. We all know that Ronnie is that baby's pappy. And we are not going to continue to be in denial. We are not going to continue to do that to try to make her feel better. We're not going to do that. We're going to be real around here, man. We're going to be real around here. I don't like secrets and putting things under the rug because it makes people uncomfortable and no I'm not like that that's never been me and I'm going to stick to being myself this entire time that I have my YouTube channel and beyond and beyond everything that's going to come from just this channel the businesses the foundations the everything I'm going to be true to myself at all times and I truly feel that I know that Ronnie is the daddy. Look at that. Look. You don't believe me? Look. Look again. Look again. Look again. All right? We're not going to play no games now. We're not going to do that. We will not do that. Now, before we get to the main event. 
we will not play these games. What's up, Ushraya? Thank you so much. A doctor confirmed that your post about who is Edema. I don't know what you're talking about. But um maybe you is that how you meant to spell it? Edema? I don't know. But I have to keep going. So um if you want to re-put it in there, go ahead. Baby has a round face just like Christian. Everything else is Ronnie. Good, 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 good. I'm glad that you see the yes, they are twins. Javon is blue face twin. Yes, he is with his cute self. All of the babies are cute. All the babies are handsome. What's wrong with them knowing who their father is? What's wrong with that? A more uh a more Shanae. Or is it a more shot? Yeah, I think it's Shanae. I, I could be wrong, but a more. Thank you for coming through. It's good to see you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, April. I appreciate that. Because, you know, it. sometimes y'all don't even know, man. Sometimes, man, listen. Y'all, sometimes y'all don't even know how, what I got to go through before I get to this, to this uh, live. Y'all have no idea the things that go on before, during, and after these lives. But I'm pushing through. You hear me? I'm pushing through. And it's because of y'all. So all of y'all do me a favor and hit that like button. Krishan mother had a child. After a child, she couldn't care for subject. She couldn't care for subjected them to neglect and abuse. I know she had child after child. She couldn't care for and subjected them to neglect and abuse. I understand that and I know that. Yeah, I do agree with you on that one. And that's the thing. Like if it was Carlissa. Carlissa would have said to your comment, she would have said, yep, I did. You know what I'm saying? That's how Carlissa get down, man. That's how Carlissa get down. She, to that comment, she would have agreed with you because she's the type of bitch that's going to take ownership of her mistakes. And that's how I am. So I respect that. I take ownership of my mistakes. I don't do the sneak in and the Oh, cover up my mistakes. Hell no. I'm going to take ownership of them because, but what? I never want to do it again. So, I'm, of course, I'm going to take ownership of it. But two, I really don't mean nobody no harm. When I wake up in the morning, I don't wake up to hurt or fool or play or steal from anybody. I don't wake up to lie on anybody. I wake up to try to be a better, no, not to try. I wake up to be a better mother than I was yesterday, a better per a better child, a better sibling, a better person to myself, a better child of God. That's really what I wake up and try to do every day. That's my intentions when I wake up every day. So if you know something about my past that I did that wasn't great, I understand that we are in an experience called life and that I have fuck fucked up pretty bad several times but i'm still here so that must mean something and while i'm still here and i still got this time i'm gonna do my best to do better that's all that matters and the only thing the reason why i'm saying that is because you got some people that personally it could uh it, it's on christian's side of the things when i say this i'm talking about you know christian's side of things because she shows that she does not, you know, not only does she not have remorse for the messed up things that she's done, but um, she believes in not even acknowledging it. And, you know, you know, you train up a child in the way that you have them to go. And when they get older, they will not depart from it. So I don't know who taught her to be a liar. I don't know who taught her to be a deceiver. I don't know who, how she, where she got it from or how she got it. You know what I'm saying? I don't. But um, the fish stinks from the head down. I know that. So as soon as changes are being made from, 
from the top, then you can command changes all the way down to the bottom. All right. Let me um get over here. I really want to talk more about what I just said, but at another time. I really do. Because I got a lot of thoughts on that. But um, my, 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 my. let me see. I got a whole lot of thoughts on it, y'all, but we're going to go one by one today. I'm over here on this other screen because I do want to um look at the pictures that I posted on my um community um yesterday, I believe. Yeah, yesterday. Let me know if y'all can see the screen now. Hold up. Let me take this one off. Let me take this one off. Okay, boom. Now I got the screen up. Boom. All right. So we're going to go over here to my community real quick. This was the thing that I said I had a problem with. Y'all see, he's sitting directly on that hernia. He's sitting directly on that hernia. If you understand what I'm saying, put a one in the chat. The baby has a hernia. And if you haven't seen a hernia and I have missed you, I'm sorry. I will go check my request box tonight. If not while I'm doing this live, right after, okay? I promise you I will because y'all, if y'all don't know how big that hernia is and y'all haven't seen it, then y'all might not understand just how mad it makes me to see that she's on this motherfucker posing. Hold up. Let me get this off of the screen. There you go. She on here posing. She on here posing, trying to be cute. And the baby's sitting directly on his hernia. And if you don't know, um, if you haven't seen it yet, because you like me and you just didn't think of, you know, it wasn't something that you wanted to go run and find. I understand because I was the same way. But when it dropped in my lap, I'm glad that it did because now I understand the magnitude of the neglect that that baby is dealing with. I 100% understand it. 100%. Do y'all see this baby's feet? Do y'all see his feet? This don't make no sense. It don't make no sense for that baby feet to be swollen like that and for it not to be a big deal. See, that's the problem. It's not even a big deal to her. It's not important to her that the baby's feet is swollen. That's a problem for me. That's a problem. That's dangerous. Do y'all know how dangerous that is? We don't know what could be going on. You got this baby doctor in Baltimore. Look at Ronnie, y'all. Look at Ronnie. Y'all remember this face now. Y'all remember this. I might not have got the other one in there. All right, let me see what I got on this one. Look at Ronnie. Look at Ronnie. See, I want the one where I had just a baby face because I'm going to put the baby face right next to Ronnie. When you look at Ronnie, look at his ears, his eyes. Pay attention to them eyes and that forehead. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to that. Okay? Because that's important. That's important. And the baby, why is his feet swollen, man? Come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. Jesus Christ. 
And then you know his feet got to hurt. We grown people. Y'all y'all can't convince me that the swollen feet don't hurt. You can't convince me that, that that swollen feet don't hurt. I know they do. I know they do. You're not about to tell me they don't. I know swollen feet hurt. I absolutely know it. But we're going to act act like they don't know man please let me get to this video before i get mad all right y'all we're gonna start off with this one right here and then when she gets to the part where she says uh how she decided that she wanted to make herself cry i'm gonna stop it and we're gonna decode ronnie's video because we gotta look at this one right here you see the one with Blueface and Jason Lee next to each other? We're looking at that one tomorrow. So we got to get through this one. Thank y'all. So. Do your head. Because, <laughs> bitch, I was asleep. Man, I just tapped you. I was like, yeah, we're going to pull it over. You know, I was calm the whole time. <laughs> I was just calm. Like, I was like, well, it wasn't like I was, like, wishing we got pulled over. But it was my, my fault. It was my fault why we got pulled over. Because my dumb ass. Right, because she's thinking they're going to send it in the mail. Yeah, this, that was some dumb ass. Dirty, why is he sending stuff? That was they some dumb like, yeah, but, like, it was it like, like, what is, be safe. <laughs> No, I just okay, and that's why I said like I feel like certain things. She just was like, like eh, eh, we, I don't know. I think she just be thinking. And that, oh, you never did that before, like roll from the. You never rode from coast to coast before. Uh -uh. I'll be driving <laughs> from like Maryland to Atlanta, Atlanta back. So like when we go through easy passes for real, which we have an easy pass, like you just go through it, and they, they take a picture, and they send the ticket. You know. To the house, so I'm thinking it's the same thing for real. But I'm not gonna lie. Regardless, I low key missed the exit to even get to the toll. So we was like, I fucked up. Regardless. Oh, you was just fucking up. up, just fucking. Yeah, up. like I just fucked up. Fucking, regardless, this was just fucking up, and then like, <laughs> like, I fucked up. Regardless, that's why I was just like, oh my god, god, you scared yeah. me, yo. What the fuck? All right, okay, boom. When we got booked. <laughs> Right, hey, I gotta. Can you bounce for me, y'all? I ain't gonna Don't, don't keep you know, it. You are keeping it, but you've been keeping it, but this whole time, okay? Well, okay. So what happened? With... <laughs> Tell the truth. So... When I took the mic shot, right? What happened? <clears throat> like, like, cause everybody kept saying you mean before, here, okay. like it was real or something. They was they didn't believe me when I was like, I'm, I'm, I was laughing like a bitch. That was like, wait, 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 wait. And then I just you know, literally, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this is going to go viral. Let me cry my big baby. Oh, God. No, because it was like it, it just didn't hit you. Wow. To feel like, you're like, wait, I got to. Okay. This is going to go viral. Let me cry. And y'all going to sit up here and think that I'm going to take a, a tear seriously from this girl? Do y'all know that there, I'm, I'm. I'm a person to where when I care about things, I might get emotional. I might get emotional because I care about certain things. Do y'all know how irritating that is that this girl cries at the drop of a dime and saying because it's going to go viral, so let me cry? There's times I try not to cry. There, I, I try not to cry. I've never tried purposely to cry. I try not to cry because I don't, I don't like people seeing that vulnerable side of me. But when I care about something or someone, I might cry. You know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna go to this one. I'm gonna let this one play all the way through, and I ain't stopping it because I didn't play it, and I done stopped it several times before. So I'm going to try my best to not stop this one, but I'm going to let it play since I'm cooking. And then we're going to get to the one right next to it, which is Ronnie. Let's get it. One's in the chat, y'all. One's in the chat. 
Like, black boy, because you're a nigga. Yeah, I was being, being touchy. I don't give a fuck. He was toxic. This nigga, he cool as shit. I think he's cute. I don't know. I'm a big baby. I'm clingy. But it's all genuine shit. It's not no... And if it's... If it's one way, it's the other way, too. It's not just one party. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. So... And me, I... Nigga, right? Nobody the walk that's off limits so not gonna be so don't even be scared bitch like you what are you scared for I ain't even do shit with the nigga yeah so like it's like playing so I'm just playing so it's just like I be confused so that's the whole situation like for me explaining my part about how I feel about the situation with the baby mom feeling whatever she feel about me I feel like it's a misunderstanding because she dumb as shit you feel me as a woman like she don't love herself to know that. I don't even know, my nigga. Like the whole blue face situation will be set up different, nigga. If this my baby father, we not fucking bitches together. That's that. Well, we know that's the lie. I don't share you. That's that. She already. Oh, yeah, we got a hell of businesses together to run up. We got to make this first billion dollars. He probably yeah. taking care of the bitch. Not, and not running it up with the bitch because he can't run it up or certain that's people. That's what you're you know jealous what of. So that's what I heard not you. Baby, it's not no. It's a, it's like real recognized real, and it's not. And I don't even. I don't know her, so I'm just outside looking in. So my outside looking in is trying to consider everything for real, and all I can consider is how she's just a basic ass bitch for real. You feel me? And hating. You feel me? When she could have just been a little cool. Like, all right, do, do you got something with my nigga? Oh, that's your nigga? Or can we talk about it? Like, you want to talk about it? Because we can talk about it. Because me, I'm about my money. I'm not about your nigga. I don't give a fuck who your nigga is. Because not saying, not saying, not saying your nigga will, will but just like if I, I would have walked in a little life. He heard my song and he fucked with it and he wanted to sign me and some other shit. Whoop de whoop de woo. I'm on set with him because he got a show going on and I was one of his casting. Nigga, all I see is business, man. Like, I don't see no type of shit whatsoever. So it's like, bitch, this could have been, it, 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 don't, it didn't even have to be Blueface. It could have been the next motherfucker, you feel me? So it's like, don't do too much. Because before I came to the show, I was somebody. I'm not saying, I went to your page. You nobody for real. You blue baby mother, like real shit. That's what it is. Before I met Blue, I pro league athlete, documentaries on Fox, TV show on Fox. Like I was already growing. He just part of my growing experience. Like that's what bitches. You feel me? I don't know. I just need y'all to feel me because that whole situation, like how everybody try to make it seem like. Oh, she's fucking him. No, let's stop. Chill out. Then they try to, oh, the baby mother. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Chill out. <laughs> Why is y'all even making her relevant? Let's not even do that. Like, she been not relevant. Her so what's, her the, relevant. The, what's the... No, she's been relevant. She's been relevant. If anything, she's making you relevant, and I wish she never did it. Thoughts and ideas of grandeur. That's what that is. The kill now. Like, what's going on? Like, I didn't know who she was before, but now I know. That's, that's weird. I don't want to know nobody. I don't give a fuck about nobody but myself and my money. And if you love me, nigga, I'm going to love you 10 times harder because I don't know that's my heart. is built. Now, the only reason why she just said, and if you love me, I'm going to love you 10 times harder. You know why she said that? Because right before she said that she gave away her hand and she noticed it that's why she said and if you love me nigga, i'm gonna love you because before she said that she said the only thing i care about is my money and she thought to herself blue face watching this so let me say and if you love me nigga, i'm gonna love you 10 times harder y'all better catch y'all better catch because i'm clocking it feel like that real shit. like when the motherfucker show love like the way blue show love bro All right, Ben.
we billionaires in like, give me a year. Like, that's my motive. I'm not even in it for whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just one of those weird motherfuckers that, oh yeah, you're the right motherfucker, I need you to me. Like, you feel me? <laughs> like, I've been feeling like that from people that I meet. Like, when I meet them, it's, it's, yeah, it's I good. You. I swear. Oh, yeah. I feel Always about some damn money. I swear to God. It'd be weird as shit. Because I don't know about. When she meet people, it's always about some money. So, old girl on the football team, don't be no fool, sweetie. She using you like she using Marcel, like she used the Marcellus. Oh, you the right motherfucker I need to meet. That's what she said when she seen that girl on that football team. You gonna go right with my narrative that I need right now to get this attention off of the fact that I'm abusing my baby that I don't like and I don't want because he's not the prop that I thought he was gonna be. And I drunk the whole pregnancy. And people can see that I physically harmed him. Yeah, girl on the football team, you the right motherfucker she need to meet. That's the only thing she care about. And that's the only reason why she fucking with you. About you. But I'm going to start up my whole way. Because I'm trying to do like a weed brain, like weed strain. Like for some real reason, I hustle. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you transition to something like bigger? Better, more legal. You feel me? That's my mindset. Like, nigga, bitch, 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 bitch. You all over yeah, there bitch, talking. Bitch, I'm not bitch, one of these bitch. random ass bitches that just be fucking for yes, money. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Ooh. You're saying it. Yes, you no. are. Yes, you are. That's why she said something better, more legal. Then she said, bitch, 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 because she caught herself. She's telling on herself. So then what did she say? I'm not one of these bitches out here that be fucking for money. Well, who brought that up? Who said that? Who brought anything like that up? You did because it's in your mind because that's what you did do with Ronnie. And that's why you ended up unaliving that man. Bitch. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Like, bitch. all my sisters been raped or molested or something. They got their own story. And it's 12 siblings, and my mom had 12 of us. My dad was crazy as shit. So the way I carry myself, nigga, sheesh. I'm solid, bro. I'm different, my nigga. So stop coming at me with that shit. That's how I be. So because people are like, yeah, this road, but girls, nigga, I don't think I belong in this world if I was to be honest. But we cool. I'm just going to be that way. Where my motherfucker, everybody just noticed because I'm weird. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I think. Like, she just noticed my weird ass. And it's just like, it it, it blows her a little bit because she's like, oh, I know Blue going to be up on, on, on that because I know how he a hoe and Bitch, if he really like that nigga, why is you like that with that nigga? Like, why is you with that nigga and he do that to you? Really? Like, I see if you just fuck him and y'all made money together. Now, pay attention right here. Yeah, yeah, I know I said I wasn't going to stop it. Y'all know I always say that. <laughs> y'all know I always say that shit. I'm always going to stop it. But y'all see it. Yes, she's very narcissistic. Yes. And check this out. Check this out. You talking about Jaden? And you've done all of those things. Because you and Bonnie Lachey was fucking him together. You think we don't know? Y'all was with him together. That's why. I... Nope. Nope, Lexus. Don't go to nothing else. Stay on topic. And you know what he do? But even if. Like at least try to. I don't know. I never relate to that. Cause look, me, all my niggas was my boyfriends, like solid niggas. Like I kind of like feel me married, married, married. So I don't give a fuck if you blue face. I don't give a fuck if you Chris Brown. If I can't wife you, nigga, I can't really fuck with you, fuck with you, fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I can't really, oh, I'm gonna be white for you. I'm gonna be this for you one day. 
You know, why is that exactly what you're trying to do and trying to be then? If that's the case, why is that exactly what you're trying to do and trying to be? Because you wanted to be Jaden the entire time. Cut the bullshit. Cut the bullshit. That is exactly what you wanted. That's what you're trying to do. That's what you're trying to be. You wanted to be Jaden so bad that you kept the baby because you was hoping that it was blues. Well, see, the only difference between you and Jaden is that Jaden wasn't sleeping with another dude that told her to go and get blue face money and bring it back to me. Jaden didn't do that. Jaden was actually with him because she liked him for him. He didn't have no money when they met and when they got together. He didn't have that. For you, it's about money, but for Jaden, it's about Jonathan. You know that name that you never call him? His real name? Anybody who ever been in, do y'all know that I've never called a guy that I dated and that I loved, I never called him by the name the streets called him. Why would I do that? I'm special. I'm not calling you blue. I'm calling you the name your mama gave you. You never call him that. You call him blue. Because that's what you infatuated and in love with. The idea of a star, blue. Jaden calls him Jonathan. Y'all are not the same. I'm gonna have your child. Why the fuck you wanna have a child with a nigga that don't wanna put just his dick in you, bro? I'm just saying. If they only like well then why did that's you? just me. No, 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 it ain't. Like say if y'all slip up, we'll give you we not even nigga go get that abortion, bro. Oh yeah. You gonna be over here tripping like a dumbass. Oh yeah. Oh, cause it's the baby that brought his clothes. Bitch, you didn't have to have that baby, bro. And you looking up for because you thought smaller unless that nigga just said don't get rid of my baby then tell me this for one what she didn't know is blueface and Jaden. Jaden blueface told Jaden, stop checking your birth control i want to have another baby with you and they tried for a year before they got his beautiful daughter he wanted the kids he got with Jaden. he planned them okay let's be very clear he was trying to pay you to go on about your business. But he still didn't realize that it wasn't his anyway. It's crazy, y'all. And then another thing, you talking all this crap, but at the end of the day, you would not leave his driveway. You drove to his house. He told you to leave, and you said you wasn't leaving. You waiting on a ride while you sitting in a car. No, I'm not going nowhere. I'm waiting on my ride. You drove there. Dummy. I don't know. Like, I don't know her. So, like, the way she don't know me and how she just be coming at me, I be trying to get to know the situation. Because, like, why did you pull up with hella bitches? Why did you pull up with hella bitches? Why did you pull up with hella bitches? Fighting me while I'm on set working. For your nigga, that money is paying y'all bills. Bitch, I'm the show. Not saying, what? not saying, not saying. The money is paying they bills. If the money from you paying they bills, then why do you need them to help you with somewhere to live? You sound stupid, but you're a narcissist. So you have thoughts and ideas of grandeur. This is another example of it. Man, but I want to be cocky a little because. Y'all got me fucked up. Like, okay, all right, like, if we would be technical, bitch. I'm making money with your nigga. You, you, you come over here and try to fuck up somebody, nigga. You, he got to get shit fixed because your bitch ass came. Fair. <laughs> Fucking shit up. Nigga, I'm going to How many days did he say she broke? You know, he just play your part, be in your place like you've been in your place. Why are you all of a sudden, because you want to rock some, you wanna rock some shit? What is you? Couldn't he rock no shit? Like, what? You know what she said to me when she, like, she's like, oh, yeah, you want to be on my man? You want me on my man? She kept doing this. She kept doing this. And she was waiting for somebody. That's how I know when bitches don't fight for When they don't just pop off like I do, dummy. Well, you don't just pop off on a bitch. That means you scared. You just scared. You just scared. You just scared. You got something else up your sleeve and you just a bitch. 
So is that why you didn't pop off on Tzatziki because you were scared? When Tzatziki was oppressing you? When you set the whole thing up for her, for y'all daddy to fight blue faced? That's what it was. You was just scared. You were scared of Tzatziki then because you weren't popping shit. You was running away and you was crying like you always know how to do. I had to throw you off, like, I fuck with y'all, I don't even know you. I had to be like, I fuck with y'all, fuck with you. But he threw her off so I can count the people that's behind her, like, oh, this is not a fair fight. That's why, you know, you didn't even shake pop off, you smiling. You walking slow up towards him. Yikes, y'all trying to kill my ass, nigga. Well, y'all trying to really beat my shit in so I don't look as pretty as I look. That's crazy about you, sis. Like, fuck really? is you geeking for? Like, you know what I'm saying? From now on, now y'all know what I'm saying when I say, that's crazy about you, sis. When y'all see me saying, sis, it's because of that right there. That's what I be talking about. <laughs> she sounded stupid. It's not sad, but you can get locked up for the shit you did. You know what I'm saying? Like, like she dumb. Like, where was it? Okay, not saying, but where was your son? Like, where was he when you thought to do that bullshit? Where was your son? Where was your son? How dare you? How dare you? Where was your son? Where is your son when you're playing football with your new friend that you're using for the time being? And I hope that girl, I hope she tell every piece of your business when you toss her out like yesterday's garbage, when you get what you want. Was he in a car? Because this woman saying he was in a car now. That's, I don't know. That was a stretch. I didn't think he was that dumb. But, like, if I got a son again, I feel like I got to pull up on Blue because he disrespected me, nigga. I'm going to take me and my son, whatever I got in my account, and dip. You feel me? Dip. Did y'all hear that? Put a one in the chat if you heard that. Put a one in the chat if you heard that. And for those who just coming in, if you don't understand what's going on, you don't know why I'm not in the camera, I'm frying fish right now for my family. All right? So I'm multitasking, y'all, because if I would have fried the fish, I wouldn't be live at all today. And we got stuff to do. So we want to go ahead and get this live out the way so that tomorrow we can be on the next thing. All right, so after this live right here, we're going to decode the live that Ronnie did. We're going to watch the whole thing. See, I'm shaking the fish. And um, we're going to watch the whole thing so we can have that part out the way so we can be on to the next thing. Okay, guys, thank you all so much. Let's keep it moving. Take me, my son, and dip. And then what else I do? Flip that shit into some peas, make some more money out the money that I just got from that account because that money's gonna go fast because I got used to living a lifestyle that I don't wanna trade up. Then I gotta start shit that I was holding the back because I was scared. All right. Then, because that money gonna go fast because I spent it because I'm used to a lifestyle that I don't wanna trade up. And then what else did she say about the story that she gotta have? Wait, 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 wait. We're going to get that little part right there. Wait, wait, wait. Now, say it again. Just make some more money out the money that I just got from that account because that money is going to go fast because I got used to living a lifestyle that I don't want to trade up. Then I got to start shit that I was holding back because I was scared because I was in a toxic relationship and couldn't think for Then I got to start shit because basically I done lost the money because I don't want to trade it up. Don't want to trade up the lifestyle. Then I got to start shit. Start shit up because I'm scared and because I was in a traumatic relationship. So basically she's saying in order to continue the money that she don't want to trade up, she got to start this story that she was scared. And what else? What's the story you got to start up so you can get money that you don't want to trade up? 
Like, she is dumb as shit. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have pulled up on me. If I really felt that passion about my relationship or the nigga I was shit that I was holding back because I'm dumb as shit. You know what I'm saying? I was the play. Pulled up on me. If I really felt that passion. That was the play, ladies and gentlemen. That was the play. Put a one in the chat if you caught the play. Hashtag replay gang if you in the replay gang. Still, if you're in a replay game, please put a one in the chat if you caught the play. We're moving on after this, y'all. We're moving on to the next thing. But I want to make sure everybody is catching the play. About my relationship or the nigga I was fucking or the nigga that I love or whatever. Um, I would have planned it out a little better, yo. I would have I pulled up on me. She would have planned it out. She said, and I quote, I would have planned it out a little better. Did y'all catch that? I would have planned it out a little better. How would you have planned it? I don't know what, what was going on. You just thought that we was fucking because he blew in. Nigga, if anything, I just liked him. He was liking me back. Then when it got business, business, nigga, oh, we, that shit out the window, no, we fuck, we fuck out of here, feel me, like, we cool, money, but I just say no more, this bitch, she had to pull up on a nigga, pull, prove a point, ruin some, like, basically waste some money, because it wasn't her money. Oh, Steve, baby, it is her money, and that's what you hate about it. Is that it is her money. When she takes a car, when she takes money, Blueface does not report his car stolen and he does not call the police on her. He does not evict her and have the police come and put her out of houses like he did you. That's the reason why you hate Jaden. And that's why you wanted to get close to Jaden. That time that you had that baby in that house at four o'clock in the morning with Marsh. That's why you were so quick to get cool with Jaden. Because you wanted to get back in good with Blue. And your plan worked because Jaden is not used to weirdos like you. So she really thought that you was trying to be genuine. And that's what she messed up at. And I know she has learned from this. And she has learned from you forever. She will never forget about this shit. But you, on the other hand, you would have played it different. You talk about how you would have played the situation different. And this is where Blue should have had his eyes open. But he didn't because he was going through feeling unappreciated. And you was masking yourself as somebody who appreciated him. He was your mark. That's all. You were sent to him. And you were supposed to bring back money. That's what it was. And that's all it was. That's why he... Your baby daddy is Ronnie because Ronnie sent you to Blue in the first place. Now you need to go back to your owner, Ronnie, and leave this family alone. This nigga probably, not probably, pays the bills. He do everything. Now, I don't know how that feel. Tell me. You don't. I pay my rent. I you do don't everything. Know how so, if a bitch pulls up in my shit, get the room my shit. Y'all see how the truth just comes out. And when I said go back to your owner, Ronnie, I don't. I mean that figuratively, not literally. I don't even think Ronnie wants to own anybody. I think that Krishan taught Ronnie a very valuable lesson in life as well. And I think that after everything he went through with Krishan, I think that he learned some valuable lessons. So I mean that figuratively, not literally, when I say go back to your owner, Ronnie. But she does need to let that man know, okay, I'm willing, I'm ready to accept the fact that you're my son's dad because I'm getting ready to go to jail. And any mother who loves their child, see, when my cousin, when she went to jail, she knew she was about to go to jail. You know what she did? She set things up for her kids. 
she made sure her kids was going to be straight because she knew she was going to have to go sit down for a year. And I ain't going to say my cousin's name, but her and her kids know who it is that I'm talking about. And I got much respect for her because she did what she had to do. But see, what mothers do when they know they're getting ready to go to jail is they make sure their kids going to be good. So they make sure their kids going to be with somebody that they trust, either their dad or family member. And they plan for their children to be straight while they're gone. Krishan is playing football. She does not care about planning to make sure that Junior going to be good when she finally get caught. You're wanted in too many places. And you made too many enemies. You're going to jail. And you don't even care enough to make sure that that baby going to be straight while you're gone. I don't respect people like her. Nigga, damn, bro, I got paid for that to get fixed. That's what went through Cross's mind. Not, oh, I'm tripping. I shouldn't have been flirty with Kershawn Rock on camera because I knew my bitch was going. No, bitch, you was so stupid, man. If you didn't think about how he already paid for you for free, you living for free because you got a baby. He probably would be doing that without the baby. He could cut you off easier if you didn't have the baby. He would carry you different. If you didn't have a baby because you're weird, or like y'all have this real love type relationship, like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't, don't understand. Y'all heard that? Y'all heard that? Y'all heard that? It's because you got the baby. He will carry you different if you didn't have the baby. He only doing this because you got the baby. That is the only reason why Krishan Rock wanted to keep that baby. Y'all just heard her say she would have an abortion. She said she's oh darn it, I ain't mean to say much more she like that, but I said it. It ain't like they paying me for this video anyway, right? So I'm just gonna get better as I go. But what I'm saying is, is that she, if she would have known that she was having blue face, uh, I'm sorry, if she would have known that it was actually Ronnie's baby that she was pregnant with, she would have had another smushmortion. She just let y'all know the only reason why she feel like the only reason why blue face uh, taking care of Jaden and Jaden life is as good as it is, is because she got the baby. And so then Krishan decided she was going to have her baby because she want that what? That Jaden Alexis package. But see, she's not Jaden. Jaden is genuine. Jaden loves Jonathan, not Blue. Not Blue. 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 No. Who you think you fooling? Like, that's what I'm saying. I, don't, I can't even speak on shit. I don't know. But I'm speaking on shit. What happened? So, like, bitch, you're weird. Because if I'm so mad about a nigga, nigga, I got to make sure I'm that nigga next. Because real shit, I went through this four-year relationship, bro. He was a great nigga. I heard and that. He just popped perks, abused me, shit like that. I trained him not to do all that because at first he wasn't like that. He tricked me till I fell in love. You feel me? Then we're going, what the fuck? He trying to hit me back, hit him back. Now it's a, it's a squabble. It's not really him. I'm squabbling back. You feel me? But some real shit happened. Like, you feel me? I, I couldn't go like that no more. So, like, yeah, whoop de whoop whoop de whoop whoop Like, that was my relationship. Then, nigga tried, when it came down to my money, my nigga, him running off on my. On Zeus, on Zeus, some people tried to put out that Blue introduced Krishan to domestic violence and fighting in a relationship. This is your proof that Krishan introduced Blue to it. She just talked about her relationship for four years, and when the niggas started hitting her back, they started squabbling. And then something happened, and she couldn't do that no more. I guess he showed her that he's a man, and he, he hurt her too bad, and then she didn't want to hit him no more. Cause that's what she just said. I'm gonna run it back for you if you don't believe me. But she introduced Blue to domestic violence, and that's the proof right there. That's what she used to squabbling with a nigga. Me till I fell in love. You feel me? 
They were going, what the fuck? He trying to hit me back, hit him back. Now it's a, it's a squabble. It's not really him abusing me. I'm squabbling back. You feel me? But some real shit happened. Like, you feel me? Like, I couldn't go like that no more. So, like, yeah, whoop de whoop whoop de whoop whoop Like, that was my relationship. Then, nigga tried. When it came down to my money, my nigga, him running off on my plug and all this other shit, whoop de whoop whoop Then I'm like, boss up. Fuck are you talking about? Bro, oh, fuck out of here. I ain't gonna chase you in my bag, nigga. Fuck that. You can have that little bag. I'm gonna make more. Like, you can't really think like that, little bitch. Then you is weird. Like, that's what I'm saying. You can't even chase me down, nigga. That's when you was supposed to chase down your bag, right? When you felt like you had to chase me down. Straight up. I'm just calling it out, because not saying, but you only got like 145k thousand followers. You're nobody. Not saying, but you're nobody. Like, you're cute. Basic. Like, <laughs> like what? I'm cute when I get real. Like, if it, 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 nigga. You're not, Jeez. nigga. I'm dragging right now, bro. Y'all noticed that she swiped her nose when she said she was dragging. Is that what she was doing when she was pregnant with the baby, too? And you sitting up here to call it. Jaden is beautiful. And I would say you beautiful, but your soul, boy, your soul make you look so ugly. Your soul make you look so ugly. So ugly. I'm telling y'all, I think that she had she had um AFS herself. She she might have had alcohol fever syndrome, shoot. We don't know. Sometimes when I look at her, that's what I wonder. Like, dang, is she all right? Is she all right? All right, y'all. We about to be to the next video. We almost there. But I'm just saying, like, I don't know. If you know yourself, you know yourself, bro. You know not to pull up like that. That, that was weird. I would never pull up for no nigga ever like that. Ever. I don't care on crip, on game, whatever. Whatever you are, bro. You're not even a crip. You wear so much blue. Like, crips don't even move like that. These are some real little niggas. And it's crazy. Like, he a real nigga, like, like, just one of those bitches that's just, like, he put in a box for a bit. He have to deal with you. He love you. He attach. But the nigga chag. What type of shit? Like, like that's, that's all I got to say. And then it's not even funny. The reason why I feel like I want to speak on is because it's like. He have to deal with you. He attached. But the nigga jagging you. What the fuck was that? What was that? Yes, Tanali, you can see it in her eyes. Yes, her spirit is not right. Yes. Reactive attachment disorder. All right, gonna get you. I see you. Fatal attraction like a mug, bruh. Pathological liar. How many times? Have she pulled up on Blue? Exactly. Because we just saw a video yesterday where he was telling her to leave and she would not leave. And she was driving the car. Had the baby laying on the seat. So did. Had the baby laying on the seat. And back then the baby was about three months. Had the baby laying on the front seat, baby. So did. No car seat, no nothing. Laying on the front seat. And you got the nerve to come bump your gums. About what Jaden doing? That girl all about her kids. All about them. Love doing things with her kids. Yes, she got a nanny. Yes, she got a babysitter. But she love her kids. You? You done showed us otherwise. You done showed us way otherwise. Like, nigga, I'm not in this for a temporary deal with Blue Bro. I'm in this shit forever, nigga. You know what I said? I said I'm in this shit forever. Like, like, nigga don't know who he met. We ready to run this shit up the right way. Fuck are you talking about? The only truth about that is he really didn't know who he met, y'all. He did not know. That bitch cute. Why didn't she make you your first building? Like, yeah, you, that nigga, you were securing the bag, but how could... How could she secure back outside of you? Because I don't know her. Why don't I know her and you blue? That's weird to me. And it's not even that. It's her fault. You feel me? Because, nigga, 
I can't relate. That's all I gotta say. I can't also real, real nigga shit. Oh, you definitely yeah. cannot relate. You cannot relate. You definitely can't. Oh, no. Hey. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, I'm younger than you. Last time I checked, he was born, like, he started music at 20. They didn't want to do position. Got in the position. In three years, I feel like, oh, God, because uh, the way he's not saying, but. I'm going to correct that lie. I'm going to correct that lie. Now, y'all listen. Y'all catch this. Y'all catch this, because remember, we done learned about the information gathering and the mirroring. She said that from her understanding, Blue started doing music at 20, and he didn't want to do music like her. That's a lie. How could he have not wanted to do music? And he was hitting his mama up all night for $40, $40, $40 an hour in the studio. Remember that? Yeah. Ask Carly to how many times Blueface would call her for more studio time. No, ma'am, you will not characterize Blueface like you because he ain't nothing like you. When he said that he wasn't going to do music at first, it was because he was going to be a football star. Then he started doing music, and when he started, he absolutely wanted to do it. That's why he became who he is. Just like when he started boxing, he became a great boxer. You name one thing that that man started and that failed. You got to have a good foundation to be that type of person. You know that, right? Because it's not like he a narcissist. Because if he was, you wouldn't be in existence. We wouldn't know nothing about you. But he saw you and he wanted to help you. That's called a heart. You're heartless. Any man who will take care of a child that they know ain't theirs, I can't call that man a heartless bastard because he's not acting like one. Okay, I just live with him for like a month. So I feel like I know him. I'm gonna speak on what I know. This nigga, don't try. <laughs> That's some, it's some humble ass shit. Like, I feel like the nigga would be a G-O-O-A-T if he like, all right, let me really put this in my nine to five. This nigga just really just be- What the fuck is a G-O-O-A-T? <laughs> what is a G-O-O-A-T? What is a goo -up? What is a goo -up? What is it? Dragon, chilling like, 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 he work, like, I feel like he'll work on this. He like me, work on a song. That's the only song he work, work. He don't gotta bang on three, like, or if it's not the vibe, like, he just, he don't, he don't try. So, everything that is in his life was meant to happen. Like, I can see he ain't for shit. So, it's like, that nigga's smart. So not saying, but look, I'm 20. I'm just going to compare my life to his because I want to. Because I don't know who she is. And you I don't know. Like, say, all right, all right, all right, all right. Say, I'm just going to compare my life to his because I want to. Hmm. Say if I was the baby mother years ago, back struggling with him, getting out the mother with him. Nigga, I think he'd be richer now. It wouldn't just been him. Absolutely not. It would have been us. Like you know. No, the only thing that would have been was he probably would have been in jail like he is now if he would have met you then. Cut it out. We know you for your works. He would have been in jail, just like Ronnie was in jail. That's what you do. You put niggas in jail. You get niggas locked up. That's what you do. That's what you do, boo-boo. It's almost Because 
Like, I'm just talking, right you here. know what I'm saying? <laughs> just saying, because I'm different. Yeah, we know. But we know. Delete that. So let's compare it again. So he, he, like, cause I listened to shit. He was 20 when he blew up for real. Like, when he started. He only 23. All right, y'all. So now, what? I don't even know why you even. All right, y'all. Do y'all want me to go ahead? Nah, because it's that dude. Let me see. How long is this video? Do y'all want me to go ahead and let this? I'll let this video play for y'all, okay? Because this is one of the more recent videos. So I'll go ahead and let this one rock for y'all for a minute. Getting yourself involved. You must be the that sent them here to rob us. Girl. Really? All right. Now, the other day, Christopher Rock claimed that somebody came to her house and tried to rob her at Blueface's house with guns. Blue father go outside to uh, go to work for real. I don't, he go there. I don't know why he go there early, but <laughs> slashed his tires and was sitting in the, a weird car out front. Comes out the car where guns pointed, like. I was going to show you the tires. He must have went to go get them fixed, but what the f***? I can't be held at gunpoint. Not on no bit. And it's so crazy because it's like, I think God just kept him on front for for him. So then Wack posted on his Instagram and said, receive the blue face house cameras. Nobody was robbed or in the driveway. A clout move all oh. cap. Boom. And that brings us to the point of this video. Chris Sean is responding to Wack, and she trying to say that he put the people up to rob Blueface with the guns. So Wack, I don't even know why you even getting yourself involved. You must be the motherfucking nigga that sent them niggas here to rob us. The fuck? Talking about it didn't happen. Who the fuck would play with some shit like that, bro? We got a kid, kid yo. You fucking weird and shit. You should have asked if we was good. You do you need to send protection over there? You over there trying to act like that, that's why nobody like y'all. Y'all over there. Since Blue got locked up, everybody been mad about who's in the house. Y'all don't like the fucking fall when y'all don't like my dumbass. So y'all sending weird people to the house. Okay. Okay, I got it. And, and, and it's funny because I usually don't really care when he be trolling and shit, but bitch, well, that's that's real life. Like niggas is really out front. Yeah. Like, you and you must have been in them niggas, bro. For you to say they didn't come, right? You're a weird nigga. And for you to be like, oh, you got the video, bitch. You're weird. You don't got no video, bitch. You would have posted it, like you post everything else. Stop fucking lying. The fuck. So before we even get into what she talking about with this situation with people showing up to the house with guns, why the hell do she got that outfit on? Why is she dressed like she about to go snowboarding or some shit? Ain't this nigga in L.A.? <laughs> and I'm still trying to figure out why she at Blueface house. Don't she got a new house that she been bragging about with a basketball yep. court and a swimming pool? Yep. And Three I million. think it's kind of weird yep. that she there with Blueface daddy. Oh, yeah, but me too. I will say this. When it comes to WAC 100, I have never doubted him about having any type of footage or videos. Y'all know when it came to that mm -hmm. Nipsey Hussle situation and he was talking about he had a video, it's seeming like he had it. Y'all know mm -hmm. when he said he had another secret Kim Kardashian sex tape with Ray J and they had to sell it to uh, Kanye West, he had it. So, you know, I'm never doubting whack when it comes to footage. I don't know why his phone and his hard drive is so freaky. He got all of these sex tapes and footages and camera footage. <laughs> but, you know, whack be having it, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm trying to think why would anybody get upset with her being at the house as well? Other than the fact that she got a house that she claims she paid for. Mm-hmm. I still think maybe Wack has an issue with her being around. I think Wack feels like she is a issue or a. I don't want her around that house either. And I don't have no dog in the fight, but I don't want her around there neither. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get over to Ronnie.
All right, Ronnie, talk to us. Now, we're going to listen to the whole thing, Ronnie, from start to finish. Here we go. Put the ones in the chat, y'all. I want all y'all that's watching answer this question, right? How am I, how am I coach? Look at that man's eyes. Look at that man. That is Junior Daddy, y'all. Every time I see this video now, I be like, dang, that's crazy. That man, boy, Junior look just like that boy. If you put him and Krishan together, you got Junior. Of course, there's some features that might confuse you, but that's because of Krishan's features. But even through Krishan's features, you can still see Ronnie, bro. That's that baby daddy. I want all y'all that's watching answer this question. All right. How am I how am I clout chasing if a motherfucker included me in some shit? That's what I really wanna know. Cause I've been wondering that shit for a minute. Like how I'm clout chasing for some shit that's the clout, the clout, the clout put me in. How? Explain it. Y'all sound dumb as a bitch, yo, I swear. Y'all just be saying anything. I feel like it, what it really is, it's this year, bitch. What you talking about? That year. Anyway, y'all keep talking about I'm chasing clout and all this and that. Y'all really, y'all need to do your homework. Really need to go do your motherfucking homework. Do your research. Do your research. Day, that boy ain't said nothing wrong yet. Y'all need to do your homework. Do your research. I've been doing mine, Ronnie. I've been doing mine. We on the same page, bro. We on the same page, bro. I ain't on that, bro. I'm not on that. But yeah, I can't. I can't sit here and and y'all want me to be in a storyline and don't and don't get y'all my part of the story. That's the fuck y'all want to do. No, tell me um, your part. Nope. Y'all sound dumb as shit. Fuck is you I talking know. about? Not Calm really. Down, not, it's like, okay. bro, I'm not that like y'all be thinking cause a nigga cool on the internet that y'all just go woo the woo the woo. I ain't with all that dumb ass shit. We know, that we know reality fake shit y'all see over there. I'm not with all of that. Like, we know. I'm dead ass serious. Calm down, tell your story. Like, he want me to be the father. You talking about some he bullshit? Me to be the Go look at his Twitter. He talk about oh, <laughs> oh, uh, I'm free from this point on. I got one baby mama and two kids. So what that tell you? Exactly. Y'all act like y'all really dumb. They are dumb, Ronnie. If if he telling y'all he not the father, who who else is the father? Like. Come on, like, Ryan. Y'all really acting stupid. Yeah, I went to jail over that bitch. Woo! 2019 to be exact. All of y'all motherfuckers that was that's been been locked in. That's been with the shits, been on the script. Y'all know what it is. You've been following Shorty before. The little woot the woo. Like the only reason she over there is because. Uh, I pushed her over there. Like, like, let's, uh, let's, 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 let's be clear. Let's get it's clear. It's not no, oh, who face took uh, bitch or none of that. Like, come on. Uh, he pushed over there. 
That's why she was running around here doing all them antics. Doing all them antics with little Mabu. Because he was over here talking his truth. He was over here talking his truth and she tried to distract the masses with little Mabu. Because he was over here. Uh, he pushed her over there. Lord have mercy. Come on, bro. Like, y'all really be losing y'all motherfucking mind out this bitch. Like, I'm, I'm, man, I'm appalled. Uh, I'm appalled. These motherfuckers, motherfuckers got me appalled at this bitch. Real shit, y'all be geeking. Y'all really be, y'all really be geeking. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all why, why me and y'all favorite fucking, I don't even know what she is. Is she a rapper, model? I know she a mom. I'm going to call her y'all favorite mom. How about that? Y'all, y'all be the, all right, I'm going to give it to you like this. We're going to give dates and all, bro. No cap. July 19th, 2019. Watch now, watch everybody gonna say, Oh, you talking about something for four years ago? That's but what but they, but they, but they asking for, right? Yeah, hey, I already say, so look, look. Not a right. I gotta say, I gotta say, yeah, I dig Ronnie little personality. He said, Now, watch, watch, they're gonna, he already know the crushed animals, the crushed dum dums, the rock heads. He already know the rock, rock heads, whatever you want to call them. He already know they're going to come up with an excuse for anything. He said, now watch when I give him the dates, they're going to say, that was from four years ago. They, he know how, 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 how what, what she said, dragging, shoot dragging. He know her following be dragging. And they just as slow as she is. They're going to come up with any excuse for her. Any excuse. He already is on game. That's the exact one we're ready to do. We're ready to hit this back, back block. There's way too many calls on this avenue. So look, nigga got locked up, right? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say, you know, no crazy shit. I'm gonna just tell you why, why me and y'all favorite mom. Yes, Naomi, he did, Naomi, look, you are correct. Yes, we he moved did. Out to Cali, right? As you can see on my page, like around 2019, I got a little, little something on my page. If you go in there and see the official video, a little official uh, video on my page with me and her in it from 2019, that was around the time when a nigga was uh, really applying pressure on the music shit for real. Like that shit was that shit just some fun shit for me. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't really. That's not, you know. If you know, you know. So look, at you know, the you time, know. you feel me? Me and my peoples, I got family in New York and shit. So we going back and forth from New York. You feel me? We we potentially had some some shit in the. All right, y'all. Now here's the part where I need y'all to pay attention because Ronnie is a dude. So one thing about dudes, especially dudes that's in this type of lifestyle, they they don't want to snitch. They don't want to be a snitch. They don't want to snitch. So they're going to give you uh, metaphors. They're going to give you. Um, they're going to give you the wrong locations and all of that. Because if they told you everything exactly how it is, then people would say that they were snitching. Okay. And I don't know why these young guys are like this, but hey, this is just what it was. When I was younger, I was I, I did the same thing. So. When I say I did the same thing, I mean I didn't talk talk about certain things because you ain't about to say I'm snitching, right? So this is the part where we need to decode. Now you heard him say New York, but you're gonna also hear him say he met somebody in LA County. So it's not New York, it's LA. He had family in LA. And not only the LA County thing is what let me know of that. You're going to hear him say other things, and you're going to know that he's saying New York, but it's really L.A. Listen up.
in the works at the at the hey so but by the time i got this shit going we had already did a show out la like a year before so feel me we was already planning on making a jump out there you feel me so see what i'm saying this, see right? what i'm saying tell me why i ain't gonna lie y'all know shorty really like she really spiritual like i ain't gonna lie she really spiritual like that shit ain't no cat like she really spiritual she believe in god that shit ain't no facade so now listen let me decode this for you y'all she calls herself let me, let me decode this let me decode this real quick when he said she really spiritual he's not saying she's really spiritual he's actually telling us that it is a facade she don't believe in god it is a facade and when you think of it in these terms then you'll think about how her and her family use god the bible uh uh sarah jakes the pastor after she got tzatziki jumped remember when tzatziki said when you really god's child when you really god's child god gonna protect you remember when tzatziki was on the counter and she said that well, she found out that Krishan was trying to keep her off of Zeus. Her facade is God, y'all. It is her facade. That's why he's using the phrase, she tried to introduce a nigga to God. Because when you are from, absent from the body, you ought to be present with the Lord. If she makes somebody meet God, that means that she what? She unalived them. So pay attention. Because he's going to say it in riddles and metaphors and all of these things. But you got to stay. If you really pay attention, you will be able to follow and understand what he is saying. It absolutely is a facade. Just like he said, y'all favorite mom. Y'all know how she is as a mom. So you got to think of his words not exactly being his words. What is the exact opposite from Los Angeles, California, New York City? He said it was in New York, but then you heard him slip up and say Los Angeles, because that's really where it was, Los Angeles. He had people out there in Cali. That's why she knows how to make that road trip from coast to coast. Because when she stole Blueface's car, that was just another trip for her. She had been doing that with Ronnie. They drove, drove coast to coast several times. Krishan likes driving coast to coast because of how much she used to do it with Ronnie. Save people. And I ain't knocking it. You feel me? I don't knock that. Because if that's what God put on your heart to do in that time and you did it, then, hey, you're doing God's work. So, <laughs> salute to you. But she did some dumb ass shit. That was, like, I don't even, That shit was dumb. Like, and what y'all need to learn is Who's that, that? Um, like, a motherfucker right. is manipulative. Ugh, manipulative. The motherfucker is manipulative as fuck. That's what he about to say. But what did he say before that? He said she did some dumb ass shit. She did some dumb ass shit. When he thought about what she did, the first thing that came to his mind was she did some dumb ass shit. Now, dumb ass shit would be, and I'm going to say this because it's not like I'm getting paid for this video. So it's no me worried about getting demonetized on this video because I ain't making nothing. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and say what I want to say. Some dumbass shit would be her being a prostitute for Ronnie and him being her pimp and her trying to rob the dude that she's being a prostitute for and then messing around and killing the nigga. That's dumb ass shit. The tip is a bitch. Like, I don't know how y'all don't, you feel me? Like, y'all really don't see the shit. Like, so look, she calls herself trying to save the nigga, right? We downtown LA on 26th Street. So right, like right up the street from the Staples Center. So it's a nigga, we, we about a 
move into a spot for real. We about to move into some apartments down there, a little studio. So we go, we do the paperwork, all this and that. So after we do the paperwork, the landlord like, all right, that meet me right here at this time. So we chilling out front of the spot waiting for yo, right? Why when we in the middle of that, she calls herself trying to save somebody, like I said, feel me? So if you if you dumb and don't know what save somebody mean, that basically mean introduce them to God. You feel me? All right. Like Let's real stop shit. Right there. If you dumb and you don't know what save somebody mean, that means introduce them to God. I already told y'all introducing somebody to God means unaliving them. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So when he says that she's trying to save somebody, what is she trying to do? Introduce them to God, meaning she is trying to take them out of their body, unalive them. So when he says save somebody, when she says she was trying to save them, she was trying to unalive them. She was trying to introduce them to God. Pay attention. You introduce them to God. So look, hey Chip, you know I ain't bluffing. This is how I met you, bro. You from LA, nigga. We met in LA County, Boom. bro. Like these mother- Boom. Boom. This is how I met you. You from LA. We met in LA County. So it's safe to say we can scratch New York out. He said LA twice because he's telling a true story. So the truth is going to come out. He met the dude in LA County when this happened. That's why he said. This is how I met you. We met in L.A. County. Put a one in the chat if you're with me, if you're understanding, if you're on track. Let's keep going. The fuckers keep acting dumb, bro. Like, like y'all motherfuckers really retarded or something. So look. Check this out. She called herself trying to introduce this nigga to God, right? Nigga, see... He's that as a weakness as to get her ass. Like I'm talking about no was even on like some me to say it, bro. Like I honestly don't know what your intention was, cause he ain't get to make his move. You get me? But in common sense, it'll make sense that yo was on some shit trying Eva. Scared niggas off and take shorty, or he was trying to like rape shorty. Like, like these motherfuckers keep acting dumb, bro. Like, like y'all motherfuckers really retarded or something. So look, check this out. She called herself trying to introduce this nigga to God, right? Nigga sees that as a weakness and to get her ass. Like, I'm talking about no was even on like some me to say it, bro. Like, I honestly don't know what your intention was, because he ain't get to make his move. You get me? I had something in my mouth, y'all, when he said that. <laughs> and I don't want to talk with my mouth full, but this fish is good. Okay, y'all, so listen. He said that the dude didn't get to make his move. Remember, Krishan said that this was self-defense. And he just said the dude tried to, he guessing that the dude was supposed to try to r word her. That's what Krishan said the dude was trying to do. But he don't even believe that. He don't think that the dude was trying to do that. If they were there for her to be a prostitute and for him to buy, you know, her from her, and then she starts trying to rob him. And then he not going for it. He see it as a weakness, but he saw her play. That was the weakness, the fact that he saw that she was trying to rob him. And he wasn't going for it. So now we're in a tussle. Now he's going to say she praying with him. But she wasn't praying with him. She was fighting him, getting ready to unalive him, trying to unalive him because she was trying to rob him. 
they didn't come there to, for her to rob him or for him to assault her. It was them meeting for her to sell her body to him. Do y'all remember that Jennifer Lopez movie that came out? Y'all remember he said this happened in 2019. So I need y'all to go back in y'all minds when Cardi B said she used to drug niggas up and rob them. I need y'all to go back in y'all minds into that movie with Jennifer Lopez, Cardi B, and Lizzo. It was a trend to rob dudes. For the one in the chat, if you understand, put a two if I need to break it down some more. In 2018, 2019, it had became a trend to rob dudes. Strippers robbing dudes, prostitutes robbing dudes. They made a movie about it. Cardi B was in it. Even Cardi B got on live and said, I used to drug niggas up and rob them. This is 2019. You know how Krishan is. You know she a common reading ass bitch. So you know she like to do things that's popular and that's popping because she has no thoughts, ideas, or suggestions of her own. She has no identity. The internet is her identity. You understand? 2018, 2019, it has started becoming popular to rob, quote unquote, Johns or Tricks. Let's continue. But in common sense, it'll make sense that yo was on some shit trying either scare niggas off and take shorty or he was trying like rape shorty. Like, it was definitely something along the lines of physical, sexual abuse type shit. You feel me? So look, we in this bitch, man. She calls herself. She go. She go around the block, yo. The nigga come out the building. He walk down the street to his car. She chase after the nigga. Not literally, but chase after the nigga. I'm not gonna say your name because he dead. His family could be on this bitch watching. I got at least. Be respectful to that. Boom. 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 Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear what he said? Did y'all hear what he said? And y'all know what else that tells me is that Ronnie got a heart too. Ronnie has empathy for the family that he never met. For a man that he never unalived, for a charge that he took for Krishan. Continue, Ronnie. Feel me? If I say the name, then they gonna be like, you feel me? But if I keep it like the funky, they don't know what the whoop the whoop. Yeah. But if you know, you know. So look. This shit get crazy, boy. She go around the corner trying to save him, right? And like I said, that just means introducing somebody to God, having a little prayer with him or whatever, whatnot. You get me? So as she trying to save this man, this man sees God as her weakness. And he tries to manipulate his way into her through God. So he with all the godly shits. Let's pray. Let's, yeah, let's, let's praise God. Let's do everything godly. Yes, let's do it. Feel me? So... Long story short, yo, me and my, me and my, yeah, hell of a motherfucker, long story short, me and, I just want to take a quick moment and let y'all notice that this story makes Ronnie paranoid. It makes him uncomfortable. Start paying attention to, as he's telling this story, how he's looking out the window, He's still shook from this story. And I can tell by the way that he's telling the story, by his mannerisms, by the way he's moving. And while you're watching how he's moving in his eyes, think about Junior. Think about Junior's eyes and how, how, how much they look alike. So long story short, me and 
me and my man. We on some shit, y'all. So look. We we straight, we straight. I'm a bad y'all. We the wrong shit. See what I'm saying? See? You fanning me down, cuz? So look. He tried to manipulate her through God. Man, look, I'm I'm outside paying attention. Damn, I know how I talk. The fuck is you talk about? I'm outside. I gotta keep my head on the swivel. Yeah, bro. Can you please? I need a Gatorade, bro. Yeah. Y'all see what I'm saying? You got me. Yeah, you heard me. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Put a one in the chat. If you see what I'm saying when I tell y'all that this story makes him uneasy, this story makes him uncomfortable. Krishan said she had to do it because he was trying to essay her. She had to do it. Remember, he said she did some dumb ass shit. So you know when it happened, he probably was like, why the fuck did you do that dumb ass shit? What you doing? Oh, Ronnie, I had to. He tried to rank me. Come on, bro. Y'all got to go in y'all mind to this time and space. She wanted to be like the girls in the movies. A movie was out. Look it up. With Jennifer Lopez, Lizzo, and Cardi B. They were robbing dudes. Okay, Cardi B said, I used to drug this up and rob them. They called her Cardi Cosby or something back then. All right. When Christian tells this story, her demeanor is totally different than Ronnie's demeanor when he tells it. And I promise you, she don't give a damn about the family of the man who she introduced to God. Thank you, bro. Well, you know, I'm broke anyway. Oh, Rachel. I'm broke as she. Charles, you got money. Shit, Ray Charles ass. I mean, he can feel I got money. He can't see I got money. Fight time back. So look. I'm not lying, though. Let me really get on, get on point because I'm on cars and shit. I'm thinking shit again. Look, she goes to the nigga, right? She, he, he, they, like, so look, after she go ahead and please God as her weakness, so he trying to manipulate off God, you feel me? So he like, all right, bet, let's pray, let's do this, let's do that, because that's going to be my way into you. If you get me, you get me. So look, this nigga, yo, me, y'all favorite mother, my boy Draco, and little heaven, yo. Draco. We all in a certain. Draco. 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 Who knows who Draco is? Do y'all know what a Draco is? I know what a Draco is. Draco got a little kickback. Draco got a little kickback. Right check something, something kickback. You'll never ever get your back. Y'all know that song? A Draco is a pow pow. Google it. Google the word Draco. Put Draco ATF. It's the firearm. That's what Draco is. Okay? Just for anybody who don't know, that's what Draco is. Come on, baby. hands praying so like this because i know y'all a little dumb sometimes like this whole hands praying you know i'm a little ashy you know my hands a little dirty i know don't get to talk shit i know i know i can see okay, it okay so dirt right there okay so if they're holding hands like that i'm thinking that somebody's trying to take something out of somebody else's hands or either somebody is on top of the other person 
fighting for the Draco because of the way he's holding his hands. Let's continue. I get it. Hands a little ashy. They ain't gonna bring me no lotion. Shut the fuck up. All right, look. This nigga basically, damn, yo. You know what's going on, man. You know what's going on, huh? You know what it is, huh? You know what we doing. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I got you, huh? I'm ready to text you right now so we can real shit. I got you. Y'all niggas, man. So look. I'm good. So look, yo. Yo, why y'all? Oh, I'm right, Let me stop reading that shit. Now I'm not telling the story right. All right, so look, yo. We all in the prayer circles, four of us. We hold hands. Krishan leading the prayer. Bro, you keep talking, bro. I'm, bro. Bro. All right, bro. I might need to leave from right here, bro, because I can't stay on point. There's too much going on right here. Yo! Y'all yeah. see how uncomfortable he is? What are you doing? He don't want to sit in one place for too long because the story makes him uneasy. So we all in the prayer circle. Me, y'all favorite mother, Draco and Heaven, yo. So y'all favorite mother leading the prayer. We all praying. Um, Hurry up, bro. Trying to tell, tell my out. story, bro. Y'all got... He's saying y'all favorite mother leading a prayer. In my mind, from the things that I have gathered, when he said y'all favorite mother leading a prayer, that means that she's the one that's causing the problem. She's the one that is leading this thing to going wrong. She's the one leading the problem. You understand? She leading the prayer. She's trying to introduce him to God. That niggas on my ass, bro. Yo, my foot, man. God damn, bro. Get on the other side, bro. Damn, I could. I need y'all to be my eyes, cause they talking shit, talking about I'm lying, cause I can't. Pay attention and tell the story because all the motherfuckers keep trying to speak to me and shit. So look, yo, we all in the prayer circle. We praying. Shorty leaves the prayer. As we be praying, I lied to you not. She was 19. I was 19. Everybody 19. Little heaven, yo, was like 49, 50. I don't know how old bitch was up there, though. Boom, 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 boom. Is giving trick. They 19. He 19. She 19. But the dude was 49, 50. He came there to pay for something. And she tried to rob that man. He came over there to have a little fun. And she wanted to take everything he had on him. And he wasn't going down without a fight. And she introduced him to God. And then said, he tried to S.A. her. She's a liar. And, and Ronnie, he took the charge for the, G, for the Draco. Because that's all he went to jail for was the Draco. Because she made it be self-defense by saying that he was trying to S.A. her. So he did a 
little bit of time for the Drake though, because he wasn't supposed to have it anyway. In Georgia, he wouldn't have did no time at all. Some of a sudden. So we on that bitch, we praying. So as we praying, I get this like, I start getting overwhelmed for real. Like something, like if you was, if you ever had like a, 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 if you ever caught the Holy Ghost or like some shit like that, that's the closest analogy I could put it. But basically my spirit and your spirit came into contact. And my shit was like, get the fuck. Like, my spirit was telling me, no, no, no. No, no, no. Dead serious. My, my, my spirit was like, no, no, no. Like, no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm thinking he was telling Krishan, no. No, no. Don't do it. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Don't do this. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That's what I'm getting from that. That his spirit was saying no. See, he's speaking spiritual, but you got to remember that this has nothing to do with God for real. This is an analogy he's saying. And him continuing to say like, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Sounds to me like maybe he's saying, no, like, no, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? The other things that I've been saying so far, I'm 100% positive about. If I don't know something for sure, I'm not going to act like I do. This man speaking riddles and, and fables and all type of stuff. So I'm not going to try to make sense out of something I don't understand because if I put something where it doesn't fit, then I might just mess up the whole thing. So I'm going to be honest with y'all and tell y'all that right here, that's what I'm thinking, but it could be something different. You see what I'm saying? But let's continue. Let's let him continue. I'm moving to the uh to my room because I'm done frying the fish and I'm hot and I want to get out of that kitchen. But let's continue. After that, she starts leading her prayer again. Oh God, why when she start leading the prayer, this nigga start doing the exact same thing I was doing. Like, uh, but yeah, he can't say shit. Wait, 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 this wait. This is a story about how yo on the west side got his shit split. How your favorite mother was ready to get her shit took if a nigga ain't get his shit split. That's what the wait, fuck wait, wait, is. wait, 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 wait. Stop acting dumb and listen. Or get the fuck out my shit. All right, Ronnie, all right. No, no, no. Dead serious. My, my, my spirit was like, no, no, no. Like, no, no, no. No, no, okay. no. After that, she starts leading her prayer again. Oh, God. Why, when she started leading the prayer... This nigga start doing the exact same thing I was doing. Like, uh, but yeah, he can't say shit. This the story about how yo on the west side got his shit split. How your favorite mother was ready to get her shit took if a nigga ain't get his shit split. That's what the fuck this story is. And stop acting dumb and listen or get the fuck out my shit. Fuck is you talking about so oh y'all that part is so hard to decode that part is so hard to decode how she was getting ready to get her shit took maybe he's talking about the draco maybe that's what it is maybe he almost took the draco from Krishan because remember he said that it was the, your favorite mother him the draco and the man 49, 50 years old, who he don't want to say his name because he got family. Yeah, dude. So, yeah, it do. It sounds, yes to me. To me, yes, yes. It sounds like they struggling. Yes, it sounds like they in the struggle for it. 
and maybe at some point in the struggle the dude started getting his getting his leverage or he started getting his strength in the situation or getting his you know what i'm saying it sounds like the dude started getting the upper hand in the whole thing keep going ronnie we in the joint we praying yo do the same shit. that's the ball game feel me that was the sign telling me that yo ain't right like get the fuck on like yo fucked up god gonna throw pebbles at you and if you don't pay attention to the pebbles he gonna hit you with a big ass rock if you spiritual then you know if you're not then you just gonna laugh and think i'm being funny and i'm being Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did y'all hear me the last time I was just talking? Because I didn't even realize that I had this thing on, but... Shamise, did you hear me when I said that I agree with you? Put a one in the chat if y'all heard me just a few seconds ago before I paused him this time. Because I was telling Shamise that I agree with her. It sounded like they were struggling for the Draco. And then he just said, God going to throw pebbles at you. And if you don't, if you don't, hold on. Same shit. That's a ball game, feel me? That was the sign telling me that yo ain't right. Like, get the fuck on, like. Yo, fucked up. God. Go. That was the sign telling him that Krishan ain't right. Get away from her. That was the sign telling me that yo ain't right. Like, yo, fucked up. So basically, he's saying that that was his sign to show him that Krishan wasn't right. That he need to get away from Krishan. That she's fucked up. Yeah, real guy started giving him warnings, TT. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, 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 yes. Going to throw pebbles at you. And if you don't pay attention to the pebbles, he going to hit you with a big ass rock. If you're spiritual, then you know. If you're not, then you just going to laugh and think I'm being funny and I'm being dead ass serious. I'm being dead ass serious. God was throwing them pebbles, yo. A nigga had to get hit. Hit with that big ass rock, yo. We sitting on the porch chilling. We had just drove out to Cali, feel me? We in the middle of getting our spot. We don't have a spot yet. We ain't washed our ass Steve, in two Steve days. Kelly. We on Steve. the road from Maryland all the way to Los Angeles. That's 33 hours nonstop. It took us. All right, y'all. See, 33 hours. Now, remember at the beginning of the story, he tried to stay in New York because he didn't want to stay exactly where. But remember, he said, you know me. You met me at around this time at L.A. County. They go on these road trips all the time. So when Krishan stole Blueface's car and told Blueface that she stole his car because her mama was homeless and she didn't have nowhere to live and she can't take her mama being homeless so she was going to let her mama sleep in his car, that was the stupidest lie you could have ever said. First of all, Blueface is not dumb. He, he he got accepted into college. I mean, anybody who, even if you didn't go to college, even if you didn't graduate high school, you would know that that was a lie. Secondly, this was something that they did all the time. He said three days. So this was nothing new to Krishan. And I do feel like God was giving him warnings, telling him, that he'll end up like that man if he don't get away from her. And I'm thinking that after the whole thing happened, they got away, but they ended up getting caught after the fact. They got I feel like they got away when they when she first introduced him to God, if you will. They got away. But then they came and got picked up. And then that's what she that's why they was able to get away with the whole she was uh he was trying to R word her and essay her because they had 
had time to come up with a story because they fled the scene. They fled the scene. And then they got away, and then they got picked up. I'm going to let you hear it again so you see why, why I um, got there to that point. Same shit. That's a ball game, feel me? That was the sign telling me that yo ain't right. Like, get the fuck on. Like, yo fucked up. Okay, God okay. going to throw pebbles said, at you. And he said, that's the ball game. So that was a wrap. Okay, now I get it. That was a wrap. And that was his sign. That was a wrap. And that was his sign. To get away from her. God gonna throw pebbles at you. And if you don't, then he'll hit you with a big ass rock. So, I'm wondering if you felt like he got hit with a big rock when he ended up going to jail for her. I'm wondering that. Because he said that's the ball game. Because he ended the story there. That's the ball game. That's the end of that. But then that was the same, that same situation was the situation that let him know that he needs to get away from Krishan. I'm going to run it back just a little bit. All right. If you haven't caught the Holy Ghost or like some shit like that, that's the closest analogy I could put it. But basically, my spirit and your spirit came into contact. And my shit was like, get the fuck. Like, my spirit was telling me, no, no, no. No, no, no. Dead serious. My, my my spirit was like, no, no, no. Like, no, no, no. No, no, no. After that, she starts leading her prayer again. Oh, God. Why, when she started leading the prayer, this nigga started doing the exact same thing I was doing. Like, uh, but yeah, he can't say shit. This the story about how yo on the west side got his shit split. How your favorite mother was ready to get her shit took if a nigga ain't get his shit split. That's what the fuck this story is. And stop acting dumb and listen or get the fuck out my shit. Fuck is you talking about? So we in the joint. We praying. Yo do the same shit. That's a ball game, feel me? Okay, he said, this is a story about how your favorite mother was getting ready to get her shit took if yo didn't get his ish split. Meaning, if he, if, if, okay, I get what he's saying. Because remember, he said that he don't know if bro was really trying to do that to her. That's what Krishan said he was trying to do. But he can't say that that's the truth because he never had the opportunity to do it because Krishan jumped the gun. Literally, and use the Draco to introduce him to God. All right. That was the sign telling me that yo ain't right. Like, get the fuck on. Like, yo fucked up. God going to throw pebbles at you. And if you don't pay attention to the pebbles, he going to hit you with a big ass rock. If you're spiritual, then you know. If you're not, then you're just going to laugh and think I'm being funny and I'm being dead ass serious. I'm being dead ass serious. God was throwing them pebbles, yo. A nigga had to get hit with that big ass rock, yo. We sitting on the porch chilling. We had just drove out to Cali, feel me? We in the middle of getting our spot. We don't have a spot yet. We ain't washed our ass in three days. We was on the road from Maryland all the way to Los Angeles. That's 33 hours nonstop. It took us 48 hours to get there. 48 hours. So look, we get there. We on the front of the building. The nigga seen that we was trying to take a shower. Mind you, manipulation. He was like, all right. They want to get in the building to take a shower. 
We didn't have a key. We meeting the landlord that morning. Pay attention. We meeting the landlord that morning. We ain't have a key yet. After we did the little praying shit with him, he like, bet, that's my way in. He like, all right, I'm going to let them go ahead, take their shower, and do what the fuck they do. So, so he let us in the building. And one star, you, Draco, my man, was in another joint. It's two stars. If you ever been in a college dorm, this is the style of the building. It's a, it's a, like, for example, like, you got a college dorm. I'm going to get the fuck from the school. You got a college how his mind is, he ready to get the fuck from this store. He don't even want to sit in one place for too long when he thinks about this. I really think he need counseling from this situation, to be honest with you. You got to be a cold, heartless B-word for a dude to have experienced you and have this much PTSD. He done already talked about having to keep his head on the swivel. He done already talked about having a Oh, I'm talking about he giving me anxiety. Y'all, I really hate that I got to do this, but y'all know I got to go, right? <sighs> Dang, bro. I got to go, y'all. We at 1837. We can finish this first thing in the morning if y'all want to. But I have to go, y'all. I got stuff to do in the morning. I got stuff I got to get done so I can go ahead and start my job. Because y'all know I do have a job. <laughs> I just got stuff I got to do so that I can start it. So I got to be working on that. I'm so mad, y'all, because I'm we were literally in the thick of it. But um, we at, mm, we at 1837, y'all. Can y'all please meet me back here tomorrow? Meet me back here tomorrow so we can finish this, please. I'm so sorry that I got to go, y'all. I love y'all. And I'm so... I won't have to cook, so I'll um be able to do that, okay? It was. It was good talking to everybody. And I'm sorry I couldn't highlight y'all comments like I normally do, but I was frying an ass of fish, yeah. Uh, it was a lot. <laughs> I, pro I probably fried like 15 pieces of fish because they love the fish. So I wanted to make sure everybody had, had two or three pieces. But um, yeah, y'all, I love y'all so much. Y'all know I got to always, always show these pictures before we dip because Junior is Ronnie's son. I firmly believe that. Krishan Rock is a meatball. And I know you don't want to hear that, mama, but it's true. All right? It's true. This is Blueface and his son. This is Ronnie and his. Jaden, Carlissa. It's time for y'all to put the past behind y'all and get back right. Big Rock, Ronnie, y'all need to have a conversation because y'all know that's your baby. I love y'all so much. I'll see y'all back tomorrow. Becoming family. This was a one for the books. I love y'all so much. And we're going to be done decoding this tomorrow, okay, y'all? Love ya. Later.